It's super cold and windy today. Hey guys, it's Sasha, and today I'm here to bring you bookish internet terms. So, I'm pretty sure all of you were like me at one time, new to the bookish internet world. I first was immersed in the bookish internet world on Tumblr, and I saw all of these weird phrases and sayings going on, ARCs, TBRs, reading slump, DNF, and I was like, what is going on here? So this is my guide to help all of you newbies who, who might not know and are too ashamed to ask because I was also too ashamed to ask. I had to Google it. I didn't know what TBR was and I Googled it and I was like, okay, now I know what it is. All of these definitions are what I found to be. I put them all together. I wrote down some of them. I picked up from the internet some of them I had to create on my own. The first definition I want to get to is ARCs. ARCs stand for Advanced Reader's Copy. ARCs are a free, not quite final version of a book that is often distributed to reviewers or book convention attendees. Nailed it! The next definition I'm going to get into is TBR, which stands for To Be Read. Now that I've seen a couple of definitions floating around for this, so I'm just going to go through them all. The number one! definition for this is a book or books that you own but have not read yet. Number two is a book or books that you may or may not own but you want to read. Number three is a book or books you're going to read next. Third definition I'm going to get into is reading slump. And the first definition for reading slump is a reader's worst nightmare. <laughs> the second definition is not being able to pick up a book and read it because you just can't. The third definition is books are no longer appealing and you read no more. The next term I want to get into is DNF, and DNF stands for did not finish. The definition for this is you did not finish the book you were reading. Simple. The next term I want to get into is bookish hangover, and the first definition for this is the inability to start a new book because you're still living in the world of the last book you were reading. Number two is the inability to function at work or at school because you were up all night binge reading. The next internet term I want to get into is book swag or bookish swag. The definition for this is any and every kind of gear that is bookish themed. The next term I want to get into is ship or shipping. First term for this is to support or endorse a romantic relationship that is not canon in any of the works they appear. The second term is to support or endorse any platonic relationship that is not canon in any of the works they appear. And the third definition for this is to support any canon, platonic, or romantic relationship. Next term is OTP, or One True Pairing. The first definition for this is a term you use to express that a pair of people are perfect for each other. Number two, used to describe a relationship in fiction, text, or in real life that you think will work really well together or that you want to happen. The next term is book, boyfriend, or girlfriend. And the definition for that is a literary character with which one has a romantic attachment or obsession. Number two, your true love stuck inside the pages of a book. And the last and final internet term is fangirl or fanboy. Number one is a fan with an obsession over real or fictional characters. Number two is a fan with an obsession over material things, makeup, clothes, a certain look, etc. I hope y'all liked this video. That's all for now. If you think I missed any internet terms that I should have done, comment down below if you liked this video. Like, um, I'll catch y'all later, probably Wednesday. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. Bye. Uh, I got lipstick on my fingers.